What's going on? It is Nathan Resnick, the founder and CEO of Sourceify. Today we're diving into the coolest cooler. This was once the most funded project on Kickstarter, raising over $13 million. And somehow, you know, five years later, they shut down. So hit bankruptcy, filed, and it's a crazy story because they crush it. And it wasn't just that they crush it right out of the gate. Their first campaign actually failed. So they first got public's attention in 2014. This was after they had a failed Kickstarter campaign for a cooler. It was a different design, but same type of concept. But in 2014, they raised nearly $13 million from 60,000 backers. And when you go into manufacture a product at that volume, it's a lot different than manufacturing when you're just trying to produce a few hundred units. So my guess and estimate is they didn't understand how to allocate resources to plan production quarterly. They didn't have the ability to manage cash flow. Um, you know, a lot of production when you're just starting with a factory requires 30% down, 70% before shipment. Um, but they also invented or invested in all their own molds and products. And so they didn't want to use existing coolers. They didn't want to use existing battery packs. Like they were trying to do everything custom from the ground up. And when you're putting all these pieces together, I believe you might as well, you know, put the pieces together that are already existing on the market to be more cost effective. But you know, the early issues was their cost of production was much higher than the $185 that they had uh, originally thought it would cost and that they raised from each customer. So they listed their coolers on Amazon for four to $500, um, which is a bit more reasonable. I mean, I would estimate it probably cost $150 or so to produce this cooler at scale. Um, but, you know, there was labor disputes abroad, like there was manufacturing strikes at their factories in China because they were trying to cut corners. Um, and they had a ton of legal trouble. So they started investigating the company, frustrated backers on Kickstarter, had filed so many complaints. Um, and then the Chinese trade wars hit, which is really why they said they went under. But, you know, we all know they just didn't forecast and plan their manufacturing accordingly to meet the $13 million in demand that they raised from their backers. So they uh, had an increased tariff to about 25% which they claim pushed them over the edge. And at the end of the day, they leave over 20,000 early Kickstarter backers without a cooler. Um, and it was, you know, really just an unfortunate dynamic of a campaign going out to crush it and raise, you know, $13 million and not being able to actually manufacture its products. This is why we always say in Kickstarter campaigns, manufacturing is so, so crucial to have lined up before you launch. Um, don't just have a prototype made at home, you know, utilize our product sourcing school to get your products manufactured um, and understand how to bring your idea to life. So the crazy story of Cool is Cooler, you know, we're here to help at Sourceify so this doesn't happen to you. And we've already had so many six, seven figure Kickstarter campaigns that have, you know, been creators from product sourcing school. So hope this helped. And it's a crazy story worthwhile reading.